At 11, parole officers keep sex offenders at bay during trick-or-treating. Tonight, what it's like to be on the other side of the law. And Brian, cool work week. Cool work week, but a little bit of sun returning as well. All right, join us at 11. See you then. Live from WTEN, this is News 10 at 11 on the news station. While kids trick or treat from door to door, so do parole officers, making sure sex offenders stick to some strict rules on Halloween. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Dimitra Ganyas. Public safety, a major concern on Halloween, especially for parole officers, who much like trick or treaters, go door to door to check on sex offenders. But tonight, we step on the other side of the law. New at 11, News 10's Taryn Fitzik spoke with some sex offenders to hear their side of what it's like on Halloween. No matter what the offense or what level a sex offender is registered as, there are no exceptions on Halloween. It's zero tolerance. If they leave their house, they go to jail. New York State parole officers hit the streets throughout the capital region, going to sex offenders' homes, knocking on their doors, and making sure they're complying with the strict curfews and rules given to them. And I got to see it all happen. I'll answer your bill for anybody trick-or-treating, regardless of whether or not that person's here with an adult. One of the sex offenders I talked with who wanted to keep his identity concealed was convicted of rape, spent 11 years in state prison, and will now be on parole for the next three and a half years. One thing that frustrates me is I think they lump everybody together. I mean, I don't have a child molestation charge or anything like that, or my 